In this video I'm going to talk about converting metric units by working through a number of examples. So to get us warmed up here's a simple example. We need to convert 3.7 centimeters into meters. So we start off with the 3.7 centimeters and we know that there's 100 centimeters for every meter or we can write that the other way around there's one meter for every 100 centimeters. So if we multiply this by one meter divided by 100 centimeters we can then cancel out the centimetres and calculate 3.7 divided by 100 and we get 0 0.037 metres. And for this example that is fairly trivial but if we set things out in this way it helps us when we get to more complicated examples. Here's just um, another simple example 2.6 kilometres converted into metres. Well we know there's a thousand metres per kilometre so we write times by 1000 meters divided by 1 kilometer the kilometers cancel out and we end up with 2600 meters now if we look at the metric prefixes there are a number of different prefixes that get used and here is an example of some of them with the prefix so for example terra with a capital T and that is 10 to the 12 base units per terra unit it's a bit easier if we look at these with examples so for example with meters if we go to the millimetre one, it's 10 to the minus 3 metres per millimetre. We can do this for grams, so for example kilograms, 10 to the 3 grams per kilogram. And we can also do this for volume, so here we have litres. And if we have a microlitre, then it's 10 to the minus 6 litres per microlitre. So we can use these for examples, uh, converting distances is, is the example that's given here. So we need to convert 3.4 picometers into centimeters. So we start with our 3.4 picometers and we know that there are 10 to the minus 12 meters for every picometer. So we write down 10 to the minus 12 meters divided by one picometer. And we also have 10 to the minus two meters for every one centimeter. Now we need to write this the other way around because of the way we need to cancel things down at the end. So we're going to say one centimeter per 10 to the minus two meters. And if we write that down, cancel things out, we can see that the picometers cancel out, the meters cancel out, and we're just left with centimeters. So if we calculate this through, we end up with 3.4 times 10 to the minus 10 centimeters. Another example to convert 6.2 micrograms into milligrams. So we start with our 6.2 micrograms. Now we know that there's 10 to the minus 6 grams for every microgram. So we write down 10 to the minus 6 grams divided by 1 microgram. We also know that there's 10 to the minus 3 grams for every 1 milligram. We need to write this the other way around though. So it's 1 milligram for every 10 to the minus 3 grams. So if we write this down when we cancel the units out, the micrograms cancel, the grams cancel, and we're just left with micrograms. Sorry, we're just left with milligrams. So it's 6.2 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by 10 to the minus 3 equals 6.2 times 10 to the minus 3 milligrams. So that has been a description and an introduction to how we can convert metric units.